It's very handy. Uh, it's it's best to kill them when they're not all grouped up. Um, that way you can loot each body individually. Um, if you see this dude jump at you, you just kick him with the 5 button. Or you can uh, parry him too. Uh, they fight best when they're uh, together. Meaning they will corner you and they will take your ass out if you're not good enough at uh, parrying or getting rid of the, uh, the damage that they can do to you. You also can't advance past the bodies too much until the uh, next Jackalman has come up. But alone, they are weak and helpless to our uh, fighting strength. So let's wait for him to quit screwing around and get in front of us so we can smack him a good one. Come on, one more. I won't be going out into the wilderness after this. There's really no more point to it uh, until we get to the place where there is a point to it. And that'll be a little later on. So just bear with me for a little bit. Come on. Uh, I'm just going to force him back. And we'll kill him here. Alright, so we've lined up all three. We've gotten three points for killing a Jackalman, even though we got attacked by three. We'll go ahead and loot each body individually. Six Dinars. Six Dinars. Five dinars, which is pretty good payout for killing three guys. Uh, we will not have to come back to the wilderness to fight, uh, so we will return to the town with the natural homing instincts, run back up north. Hop off our little dude, run up, and go to bed. sleep until the morning. Uh, today is the seventh day. Uh, this is the day that is uh, the last day that you can take to fight the fire elemental. After that he burns the entire city and you're screwed. Alright, so we have the beggar here. Um, we've made some money so why not just give him some. We'll give him the rest of our centimes. Alright, um, we have to receive our payment, and we get that from Rakesh at the Adventurer's Guild. You have saved the city with your courage and your resource resourcefulness. The land of Shah Payir is indebted to you. By order of the Sultan Harun al-Rashid, I have been asked to give you this reward for your actions. We get 50 dinars for killing the fire elemental. We are all truly fortunate that you came to this land. Cool, so we got points for that as well. Uh, we'll run in here and fight Ahura once with Rakish watching and see what he has to say about our skill progression. Um, like I mentioned before, Rakish is the only person that will tell you certain sword skills that you have learned. Uh, since Ahura is a spear wielder, she will not. Which is a shame, because she's usually the only one here. But, you know, whatever. It's no big deal to fight her with Rakish watching. Unless you are, you're stage fright or something like that. I don't know. It would be a dumb reason to not fight with Rakish watching. Because he's a very, uh, very intelligent person. He's also a paladin. Which, you know, that's along the ways of what we want to do. So we may as well listen to him, right? Um, after we finish off Ahura, there's one more thing that we need to do on today, and then I'll just push it to day 8, uh, so we can continue on. Yes, I've already done that. Thank you, Ahura. Double swings can wear down an enemy's defense, but still leave your opponent standing and thus in a, a position to mount an offense. Next time you fight, try following up an inverse swing with an overhead slash. This will knock most opponents off their feet when it connects. So that's the attack that I've been using, the three swing attack. An opponent whose attack is blocked by your shield will recoil, recoil for a moment. A keen swordsman can use that opportunity to launch a quick counter attack. Next time you fight, try launching a quick swing after the enemy's attack bounces off your shield. So if you uh, parry and hit the nine key, you will attack quickly for a counter attack. 
uh, you can increase your stats, uh, your parry to be high enough to deflect and do an actual swing, which is kind of nice. Um, I didn't use it too often in my first playthrough, but it's nice to know that you can do that. You want your parry around 130 or 140 to learn that skill, uh, your dodge around 130 to learn all the dodge attack skills. Um, our honor's gone up a little bit, our vitality went up in that fight. Uh, more stamina is always good, but we're done here uh, for now. We'll go ahead and leave and head to the Fountain Plaza where we will see a familiar face. And they ask, what is a hero? Though the answer's very clear, he's the one who faces danger when the darkness hovers near. Alright, so Omar will poetize. We have to listen to his lines four times. After the fourth time, we leave and come back and find a surprise. He will face the fiercest foe when another needs his aid. He will dare to defy death even when he is afraid. He works not just for glory and he does it not for gain, but because he knows that others will be spared a greater pain. We can't do anything to influence his uh, speakings either, we just have to wait. He won't always follow orders, for he dares to answer why, and unless he likes the reason, he refuses to comply. He will brave the battle boldly, even though he will, may not win. He will face his fate unflinching, for he is a paladin. That's nice of you to say. This is the last line. And they ask, what is a hero? Though the answer's evident. He's the one who faces death, knowing that his life's well spent. Alright, so he's uh, said his poem. We'll go ahead and leave. And come back. And there's something blue on the floor. Let's pick it up. You pick up the purse and open it. It has six dinars and 25 centimes. It also has a small scrap of paper with the words, Quelling chaos from Shapair, driving darkness from Rasair. Alright, so uh, as a thief, you'll want to do the uh, look at it. It'll give you, or you'll want to use it on yourself to get the coins out. As a paladin, you want to preserve it and give it back to him when he, uh, when you find him next. So I'll go back to the Kata's tail. We'll go here, and to sleep until morning, you'll wake up on the eighth day. We have day eight. The day is dawning. Let's see what mischief we can get into on day eight. Go ahead and leave. Shema dances this night. Arsaurus is here. Oh, he's so affectionate. Will you please take...